Hello guys, welcome to a new video. Here we're building a sleeper pond in my patio area here. Um, we've had to pull some of the flags out because I'm going to dig down about a foot just to protect it from the cold weather we get in the UK. So I've built the frame out of sleepers and I'm doing it vertically, uh, not flat, apart from the capping uh, sleeper that will be flat. Um, so we're going to go up about three levels. Um, the overall length here is um, 240 uh, centimetres, um, but because of the sleepers, we, um, reducing that by 20, we'll end up with about 230 centimetres worth of pond in terms of length. And in terms of width, it's uh, about 170 centimetres, but again we're losing 20 centimetres because of the width of the sleepers. That will mean we've got a pond width of 150 centimetres. So we're going to build it here. Um, I've also got a filter box I'll show you in a minute uh, just to show you that I've built it myself out of some wood I got from a local hardware store um, and we're going to put some filtration in there as well as a pond liner. Um, we're going to be using a pond liner for this pond um, and at the moment I'm just cutting out some flags and uh, trying to make sure it's level on here before we try and get it on. I'll probably might have to put a bit of cement on the bottom um, around the corner, around the edges, sorry, of the actual um, frame when I lay it down just to make sure it's level. I need to make sure this part of the build is level. Once that's level, we can start putting these sleepers on very quickly and we could have a, a pond almost constructed in an hour or so. Um, and obviously I need to dig this out a little bit by about a foot, not deep. Um, and that will just add a bit of depth because we're going to have some koi fish in this koi pond. Um, not many, I think I might just have four or five and then we'll have a good filtration system. Um, and I'll, I won't do a bottom, bottom drain in this, it's going to be too much work that is. So I've, I've got a large aquascape um, um, pump for that, that is massive, it's like that big and it will li literally keep this pond nice and clean. Um, and in combination with the filtration box I'm going to show you, um, I think it's going to be fantastic. Um, just one point I want to note in, in these videos that I do make on pond building sometimes. Um, what people don't understand is when you dig in the ground, the earth is one of the best insulators that you can get. Yes, you can get insulation board and I will be putting some foam inside on the wood part just to give it a bit of more insulation but I don't think it's that necessary. Um, when you've got moving water it keeps the ambient temperature um, going. Um, I've got a small pond over there over the winter. I've got about one inch of ice. The pond is only about that deep um, and it never froze completely. But one thing I do want to point out is I know someone um, who lives near a relative of mine who had a, a built up pond and it wasn't in the ground at all and it froze completely solid. I don't know if you guys remember 2018 when we had the storm, the beast from the east in the UK. Um, that, that weather front came from Russia. Um, it was extremely cold for a very long time. Lots of snow, lots of ice. Um, but I know I noticed when, when I had some snow and ice last year, my small pond that I've got over there. I'll just show you that in this video if you want to see it. Um, but it wasn't a major deal, the weather. Yes, I got some ice, but the filter box that was running at the time kept it going. I do need to rebuild the waterfall in that small pond, but uh, I'll get to that at some point. But this video is just to show you what, what stage I'm at. Um, and I'll show you the next stage when I've got the sleepers built. Um, and obviously, let me just show you the filter box now. So here we have a filter box that I've built. It's about 170 uh, centimetres long, so it will fit on that pond, no problem. And, it, and all this is treated wood. Uh, it's green treated, but I've, uh, I have obviously stained it. Um, light, they call it light brown, but it's more of a dark brown to uh, make it fit in with the actual colour of the uh, koi pond we're building with sleepers. Um, and I have actually strengthened this quite a bit. As you can see, I've put um, 170 meter lengths of treated wood along there. 
two two panels there, um, two at the bottom. Um, I've strengthened it with some, uh, I think it's two by four, um, square pieces of wood there and there and two more there. Um, and this will be my filtration. So what we'll do is we'll put some liner in here, we'll have lots of uh, lava rock, some plants, um, and I'll put some sponges in one end to try and absorb the water and, and obviously the pump in conjunction will keep the koi pond um, water quality in good condition. So I just wanted to give you a brief tour of the filter box so you can have a look and see what I've built. Um, price wise it's a, it probably works out around £100 to build it. Um, I did try and get someone off uh, um, I think it was the uh, Facebook marketplace to build me one but he said three weeks and I thought well I could do it in one day so I went off to the hardware store and built it. So I just thought I'd show you my uh, mini pond that, uh, that's that been running. I do need to build the waterfall as you can see. We've got a waterfall here but it has been leaking and I was losing a lot of water. So the plan is at some point I'm going to have to pull that out and rebuild it and I'll put a proper fil filter in there as well because these little boxes, filters you can buy, these spillway boxes are alright as a temporary thing but they're not great um, um, in a long term use scenario um, and I do have four goldfish in there and we've got lots of plants as you can see um, lots of plants growing if you've seen my other video of me showing how I built this you might be interested to see how the plants have developed so plant wise it seems well established and doing nice but I just wanted to show you where we're at at the moment regarding the small pond. Um, like I said, we've got to rebuild that waterfall because I'm not happy with it because it, for some reason I was losing about an inch of water um, every day and I kept refilling this pond up. As soon as I put the spillway in the pond there, I realised that there was no water loss. So that's one way of eliminating a possible problem with your you know your waterfall um, if you don't lose any water if you put put the pipe in the actual pond then you realize you've got a problem with some sort of leak in the waterfall itself so we'll get to that but at the moment we're in the process of building a sleeper pond there so I'll get to it and I'll show you the next stage <laughs> 